Hello, math makers, and thank you for joining me for another math lesson. We are on lesson number three of place value, <clears throat> doing hundreds, tens, and ones. If you're just finding this at part three and you have not seen lessons one and two, um, I will have them linked in the description below. Feel free to check that out. Um, and those will be there to help as well. Lesson number one focused on just the 100s. Lesson number two worked on counting with just tens and ones. Part three, we're putting it all together. And we're going to do hundreds, tens, and ones to make sure we know how to do this. Now, let's go ahead and review some things. I always start with the review. I want to make sure we know what all of our terms are and all of our pieces are that we'll be using. First, this is a one. And you can see that in my hand. It's a little bitty square. You've probably have seen this in your classroom. That's a one. It's only worth one. Ten ones are ten of these make a 10. And this is a 10. Again, this is what a 10 looks like. And again, you may have seen this in your classroom. So that's a 10. Each square on a 10 is worth 1. So if you're looking at it, we see that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ones in that 10. So 10 of these makes one of these. So every time you get 10 of these, you turn it into one of these. Um, next, um, you can you can use these, use our tens, to make a hundred. This is a hundred. Looks like this. It's flat. It's just a square, and it is made up of um, it is made up of our tens. So each row, which is side to side, or each column up and down, is worth ten. So each row or column each has 10 of these because it's a perfect square as well. And you can see that there are 10 in each column. There's 10 columns of 10. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 of these equals 1 of these. Okay. If you need to know how that feels, you can take 10 fingers, just like 10 of these, and you can count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So if you're counting by tens, 10 tens make a 100. Um, and, of course, a 1, a 10, a 100. Now we have a 1,000. That's the big block. You may have seen one of these in your classroom. This is worth a 1,000. And just like 10 ones, or 10 ones make a 10, and 10 tens make a 100, 10 hundreds make a 1,000. So you could stack these 10 times and make this cube, this 3D shape, and it's worth a 1,000. Or you could just line them up front to back. Either way, it's going to make a 1,000 because it's a perfect square. All right, now, some other terms we need to know. And I've kind of talked about this a little bit, but I haven't done this officially, so I want to make sure I do it here so that we, as moving forward, we know what these terms are. Um, the first term is digit. Any number you, from 0 to 9 used to make a numeral or a number is a digit. Here I have an example, 142. It's a three-digit number. You can see I have three digits, 1, 2, 3. Those digits, of course, are numbers, but they all go together to make one big number, 142. And there's three different ways we can write this number. And we've been doing this in our videos, but I want to go ahead and give you the official name. We have the standard form, which is just writing the number. We know that. There's the expanded form, and that's when you take each part of the place value, the hundreds, tens, and ones, and you break them apart, and you add them, like an addition question, 100 plus 40 plus 2. See, we see 100, a 40, and a 2. And the third way to write a number is the word form. Um, and we're just going to write it in words instead of numbers, 142. If you notice, there's no and there. A lot of times I have students who want to put 100 and 42. Don't put an and. Um, there's no and in there. If you put an and, that means you're putting a decimal point and you're breaking it up, almost like dollars and cents. Um, and so we don't want to do that because there's not an and in that number. Um, and there's only a, there's a hyphen between the 40 and the 2, and we will work with that as well. Now, with all that said, let's practice counting. 
We're going to do this first one together. I'm going to walk you through it, and then we're going to do a couple where I'm just going to pause and let you answer it. Of course, if you want to pause the video and figure it out before you guess and see if you're right, that's fine too. Whatever makes it best for you to get better. All right, so we'll do this first one together. The first thing we want to do is count the hundreds. And in this, we can see that there are one, two hundreds. So we're going to put a two in the hundreds place. If there's two hundreds, we're going to count by hundred two times. So we're going to have 100, 200. So those are worth 200. Next, we're going to count the tens. And I can see that I have one, two, three, four tens. And if I have four tens, that means I'm going to count by ten four times. 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'm going to put a 40. And I'm building my expanded notation down here, by the way. This is where the expanded notation is practiced. After we look at the tens, we're going to look at our ones. We're going to count our ones. I have one, two, three ones. So I'm going to put a three in the ones place. And when you're counting by ones, you're just counting by one. So it makes it real easy. One, two, three. And if we put all that together, we have a new number, 243. And of course, we're going to end with our number word. What's the number word? Actually, I just said it when I read the number, 243. So basically, if you can, say, if you can tell me or tell your teacher what that number is right here, whatever you said, if it was correct, that's the correct number word. You just have to make sure you can write it correctly. All right, now it's your turn. So that's our new number. Let's start with the hundreds. How many hundreds are there? Look closely. There are four. And how much are those hundreds worth? And we're counting by hundred because we're in the hundreds place four times. Can you count it? One hundred, two hundred. That would be four hundred. Next, let's look at the tens. How many tens are there? 3 is correct. You see those here. 1, 2, 3. And of course, if we count by tens three times, count by tens, 10, we know we would have 30. Last, let's count our ones. How many ones are there? These are our ones again. And of course, we know that's six, and counting by ones is easy. Whatever I put here automatically goes here. It's going to be six again. If I put all those numbers together, what do I get? 436. I'm sure you got that correct. And what's the number word? You just said it. 436. Good job. Let's do another one. And we're just going to do a couple just to make sure you got it. Again, let's start with the hundreds. How many hundreds are there? Three is correct. One, two, three. I have them stacked, but you can still see them. And how much are three hundreds worth? One hundred, two hundred. Three hundred is correct. Next, let's look at the tens. How many tens are there? Oops, I said that quick. I didn't give you time to count, did I? One, two, three, four, five. And if we have five tens, let's count by tens. 10, 20. Fifty is correct. Next, let's go to the ones. How many ones are there? Five again. And we know that whatever we put in the ones place automatically goes down here. So those ones are worth five. Let's put all this together, our expanded notation together, and we get the, our new number, 355. And what's the number word? 355. All right, I think we're going to do maybe one or two more, and then we'll be done. Eh, we'll make this one our last one, maybe. Um, all right. <clears throat> Again, let's start with the hundreds. How many hundreds are there? 
Be careful counting. There's more this time. Six is correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six hundreds. How much are those hundreds worth? Six hundred is correct. Next, let's look at the tens. How many tens are there? Two. So that means we count by ten two times. Count by ten two times. I'm sure you got 20. Next, let's go to the ones. How many ones are there this time? Got a little bit more. Count carefully. Did you get nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how much are those ones worth? Nine. And if I put our expanded notation together down here, what's our number? 629. And what's the number word? 629. Exactly. Guys, y'all doing great. Thanks for joining me for all three of our lessons on place value. Um, you're doing fantastic. So proud of you. And we can't wait to see you next time. Have a great day.